Hi friends, welcome back. It's Monday and I'm at school. Just a regular day at school today, nothing out of the norm going on, just classes with kids. I really have liked wearing a third piece as it's starting to get a little bit colder. So I've got uh, underneath, I've got just a Portofino shirt from Express. It's a little bit sheer, so I've got my jacket buttoned for today. This jacket is from White House Black Market. It's their trophy style, and this particular one is unlined, which I love, and it is so stretchy, so I feel like I'm really able to do all the choreography for our Christmas concert coming up in this jacket. I can stretch overhead, I can jump and dance around, and I'm not restricted at all. Some blazers are a little bit restricting, but this one is super Super, super super comfortable and on the bottoms I just have these black jeggings they are I think they, they sell these as jeans the texture feels like jeans so I feel like they're very durable for working with students all day and they're very warm but they're very very cozy and they give the look of a black work pant because they're just solid no distressing no flashy buttons just they look like black work pants all right, I've got my favorite watch. Love, love, love this watch so much. Got my wedding ring. These earrings are from my sister-in-law from Christmas. I believe, uh, yeah, last year. Wow, years gone fast. And then on my feet, I'm wearing, these are amazing. They're Ferragamo Vera bow pumps. And they're just, um, oh gosh, I don't know the height of the heel off the top of my head, but I believe they're under two inches. I wanna say like one and three quarters. I got these shoes on, eBay, they were pre-loved in amazing condition. They're patent leather. And then I took them, I'll show you, to a, um, a shoe repair store I found in Boise. And they just put on, just kind of repaired the heel a little bit. They put a little rubber sole because the bottom had been just a little bit worn, but the inside was in perfect condition. And you guys, these shoes are still sold. I've seen them at Neiman Marcus. I've seen them at Saks. I believe they're at Nordstrom. And these little shoes are like 550 or more, which I would never spend on a teacher's salary. Hi friends, it's a Tuesday. Nothing out of the norm in my schedule today, just a day with students. I have a very comfortable, but I feel like a very classy um, outfit on today. This is a knee length dress and it's uh, about three quarter sleeves. And underneath it's kind of a boat neck. It goes just a little wide on the sides, but not enough to show like any straps or anything. I got it from, Gap this summer. If it's still available, I'll link it below. It has the structure and shape of like a really professional sheath dress, but I feel like it has the durability and comfort um, for what I need in the classroom. I did end up getting it in a size tall, so I ordered it on uh, gap.com. And I'm not, you guys, I'm not a, a tall person, but I did want something that definitely went and just grazed kind of my knees. I didn't want anything too short. So this is a tall, a medium tall. I've got on some black, almost opaque tights. They're just, uh, just slightly sheer. They're just from Walmart, just the George brand from a couple years ago. These are my Louise Etsy boots that I got on eBay. And I did have these featured in my um, top five favorite teacher shoes video. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link that one below. I got this scarf at Fred Meyer. I really like the neutral color. There's like not really a shimmer to it, but there's just a little bit of texturing and it's uh, really long. So I like that I can tie it a bunch of different ways and I just knotted it at the side right here and made it into kind of like a, almost like a handkerchief scarf. Uh, this little armor green vest is unlined and it's nice and long. You guys know my torso is very long. So I always like having things that are just a little bit longer to accentuate that. And it does cover everything in the back. The dress is not sure enough to need anything in the back, but I do just feel a little bit extra um, covered and appropriate for working with kids all day. Got on some um, just little simple uh, cubic zirconian studs. My favorite watch, I'll link below, wedding ring, and that's it. Hi friends, it's Wednesday. All right, so I've got um, a really comfortable outfit today. Woke up this morning and fog and ice, which we were just socked in. So I would love to be wearing sweatpants and a bathrobe and fuzzy slippers right now, but that's not school appropriate. So this was almost the next best thing. Um, like I said, it's extremely cold right now. Um, I've got these maternity leggings on, and yes, they are maternity. They are, um, they normally go all the way up over your belly, 
Um, but I just fold them down and yes, I still have a lot of maternity clothes that I wear in consistent rotation. I feel like some maternity clothes and some regular clothes can be easily interchangeable, especially leggings. And like honestly, I'm still fitting into a lot of maternity clothes still and I'm okay with that. I'm still working on that and that's fine. But they are extremely, extremely opaque, so absolutely no uh, thinness or showing through, but I am wearing a longer layers on top, so everything is appropriately covered. And I do feel like that's crucial if you're going to wear uh, leggings um, anywhere that has a um, semi-professional, casual, professional work code. In my school, a lot of teachers wear leggings and feel very comfortable, but I do feel like I have everything that needs to be covered, covered so that I'm still looking professional. All right, so those are my leggings. My top is, like I said, a tunic length. It goes extra long in the back and nice and long in the front to cover everything. It is a little bit flowy down here at the sides, which I really appreciate because I am postpartum. I am almost six months postpartum, but let's be honest, um, I really appreciate my mom when she said, it takes you almost a year to go all the way up and it will take you about a year to come all the way back down. And I'm okay with that. So it's nice and flowy. I like this scoop neck. It's um, it's modest and conservative, but I feel like not strangling. On my feet, I'm wearing those Ferragamo bow pump heels again. And uh, if you saw a couple days ago, I got these ones on eBay. All right, so that's my top, my vest. Oh, you guys, another amazing find on eBay. I feel like this is my find of the year on eBay. This is real fur. I paid about $30 for it. It was originally purchased from Neiman Marcus and I could never afford to go to Neiman Marcus and buy one of their real fur vests but I found this one yeah for such a great deal um, I like it because the color gradation is such that I feel like I could get a stain or a spill or a student could hug me and leave stuff behind and because it's gradiated it's not just a solid color um, I feel like it's, it's just easily hides and masks and I like the length of it in the back very appropriate as well I just have my favorite watch on, my wedding ring, and I have my uh, some of my favorite little stud earrings. My sister got these for me. I believe she got them at um, either a Charming Charlie's or a Forever, uh, Forever 21. I really like the color. I feel like the color of the gold and the very subtle light pink in the middle. It's just very subtle. It's very classy, very sophisticated. I think they look much more high-end than they actually were. So very, very subtle simple hair. That's it. Hi friends. It's a Thursday. I have again, just something really, really comfortable and very snuggly warm on today because it is just freezing outside. Literally we're expecting snow like probably any minute today on top. I have, it's a slight cowl, but it's not a, like a super big cowl and it kind of has some drop sleeves. And I love this texture that's on the sleeve. If you can see it, there's it's almost kind of like a flannel kind of pattern. And it's, I like drop sleeves so that my arms just have a lot of extra room to move. I hate restricting armpit sweaters or shirts. I just can't stand that because I'm so active during the day. Now we got time to have the armpits getting strangled. <laughs> so um, I like the drop sleeves. Um, I've got this necklace. It's just a long chain with these cute little pearls. It's faux pearls. Got this from Target last year. If I can find a similar one, I'll try to link them. I saw some of these at Charming Charlie's as well. I've seen these around quite a bit. So you guys, these are called pont pants and I feel like they're the next best thing because they're not maternity, but they're so comfortable and easy to wear. I got these ones from Costco a couple of years ago. The brand is Maddie M, M-A-T-T-Y. Hi guys, it's a Friday, we made it. I have almost entirely lost my singing voice. It's just that time of year. We're getting ready for our Christmas concert and I am singing all day every day and that's okay. So a uh, quick outfit of the day. I was just in the hallway actually and two or three days this week, me and my teacher friend who's right next door to me have been wearing almost the exact same outfit. So if you're watching this, you know who you are and uh, We've had a good week, I think. Okay, so um, I'm wearing a White House Black Market sweater. I really like this one because it can go off the shoulder when I'm at home, but while I'm at school, it just stays put really easily. I found this one at a thrift store, you guys, for like probably only $5. I have found that some brands really retain their quality um, if I find them at the thrift store, and some brands really do not. Um, if you're interested in um, what I've kind of noticed or some of my observations, I would be happy to do a video on that. I have done thrift store 
like hunting, I should say, like shopping since I was in high school. And um, I've just been in incredibly successful and I can find tons of great stuff, but I feel like there is an art to it and you can go wrong. So if you're interested in anything like that, just let me know. But this brand, I mean, I, I purchase things from their boutiques and I purchase things um, from their online sales and I purchase things uh, pre-loved on eBay or in Poshmark and I found this one in my local thrift store and I just found the quality is just really consistent and really, really high even if it's been pre-owned. So um, really love this sweater. This one's a size large, but I do feel like I, I really like, even though the arms are just a slight bit baggy, I do really like the oversized cozy feel that it gives me. All right, I have <clears throat> just simple earrings today. These earrings Justin gave me as a present the first year we were married. Um, they're just tiny little diamonds in there and it's white gold. I feel like they're simple and very understated but I always feel just really special because he gave them to me when we were just just tiny little kids, newly married, and uh, they're just, just really, really sentimentally special to me. I did find some on Amazon that are very similar and I'll link them below. Got my wedding ring on. Okay, and on bottom, I'm just wearing these loft jeans. It's a Friday, we can wear our blue jeans, so I've got just some really nice um, non-faded, uh, non-distressed, non-embellished, just solid dark jeans. You guys, these ones are from Loft, and I bought these between babies, and even though the size is spot on, I just feel like the cut of them does not work for my body shape. I do carry my weight in this area of my body, and I do feel like I'm on the curvy side, but not enough so to need to purchase a curvy. I have a sister who is definitely curvy. She has this teeny tiny little waist and these amazing um, curves. And so the curvy kind of style of, of bottoms really fit her really well. But for me, I just have not found that loft fits my body. I found other jeans from other stores fit my, my like, hip and thigh area and my curves just much better. So you guys, if something doesn't fit, it's not because it's you. Sometimes it's just a cut, could be a size, or it could just be the way a brand makes something that doesn't work for you. So what I've done with these is, even though I can button them, they're just not comfortable. And it's because of the cut, not because of the size. I just wear this belly band. And I know it's black, so it may be kind of hard to see, but it's doubled over. So it's originally, you know, goes up over your belly. And this is from my maternity, but I still I still wear this regularly. Um, I just doubled over and underneath here, it has this silicone, if you can see, so it grips your pants. And I leave the top button unbuttoned, even though it's zipped up, and I just double it over and it's so comfortable. And that's how I wear these pants. Like I said, it's not because the sizing is off, it's because the cut and the shape of these pants right here in the waist do not work for my body. And I think it's really important to know that you know, our bodies are amazing. And if something doesn't work, sometimes it's because it's the wrong size or we need to, you know, maybe focus on our health, but sometimes it's just the cut of something. So I have other pants in smaller sizes that just fit the shape of my body. And these ones just don't fit the shape. So I use my little maternity belly band. No shame. <laughs> All right, so that's my bottom. So that's my rant about size and body image. Okay, I'm off it now. Um, I got these jeans, these boots. Uh, Justin gave me these for Christmas a couple years ago. The brand is Off the Beaten Trail and just a nice little chunk heel, little almond, almond rounded toe. And they're so snugly warm for all this sleet and hail and snow we've been having lately. So a very cozy outfit of the day.